Armando Hasurungan, Biology and Medicine videos, please make sure to subscribe. Join the forum and group for the latest videos. Please visit Facebook Armando Hasurungan. And here, please like. And you can also ask questions, answer questions, and post some interesting things, including artworks. And please change the quality settings to the highest one for better graphics of this video. In this video, we're going to talk about two important hormones, peptide hormones, insulin and glucagon, which are important in regulation of metabolism for regulating blood glucose levels and even regulating other macromolecules, including proteins and lipids. Now, where do insulin and glucagon come from? Well, if we zoom into this man's stomach, we can see here is a duodenum, which is part of the small intestines, the first part of the small intestines. And we also have blood, the bloodstream all around this area. Now, right beside the duodenum, we have the pancreas. And the pancreas is also situated right below the stomach. The pancreas has many roles. One of its main roles is that it secretes digestive enzymes, which initiates digestion. And it does this by secreting it through the pancreatic duct into the duodenum. Another duct that attaches to the pancreatic duct is the bile duct, where bile comes from. And bile is also secreted in the duodenum. Another role the pancreas has, the main role that we're looking at, is that the pancreas also secretes two hormones, insulin and glucagon, into the bloodstream. And I'm drawing insulin as an I and glucagon as a G, a circle in blue here. And what they do, as I mentioned, is that they regulate metabolism. They keep the homeostatic conditions of metabolism. So to, summar to summarize, the pancreas secretes two important hormones, insulin and glucagon, crucial for the normal regulation of macromolecules and therefore the homeostatic conditions of metabolism in our body uh, for blood glucose levels, for example. So if we zoom into the pancreas here, we can see what structures and cells the pancreas has and also where these two hormones come from, insulin and glucagon. The pancreas consists of many um, exocrine producing cells which form the pancreatic acini. And these are the cells which synthesize and secrete digestive enzymes, the pancreatic digestive enzymes, and so they secrete it into the pancreatic duct, which then goes into the duodenum. But we are not looking at this, we're looking at the hormones. And also in this, around this area, we have red blood cells here. Okay, but what we're concentrating on are the hormones, and these are secreted by cells which form clusters around the pancreas. And these clusters, or islets, are known as the islets of Langerhan, and within the islets of Langerhan are the hormone-producing cells. And there are many types of hormone-producing cells, but we're mainly looking at three. And these are the alpha cells, which secretes glucagon, the beta cells, which secrete insulin, and the delta cells. So let's take a closer look at these three cells. So we have the alpha cells, we have the beta cells, and we have the delta cells. Now the delta cells uh, make up about 10% of the hormones producing cells within the islets of Langerhans. And the delta cells secrete somatostatin. And somatostatin regulates secretion of other pancreatic hormones. That is, that is its role, its known role. And then we have the beta cells, which make up 60% uh, of the cells within the islets of Langerhans. So quite a lot of beta cells in the lives of Langerhans. And the beta cells secrete two important hormones, insulin and amylin. Amylin has a role in slowing down the gastric emptying, so slowing down the emptying of uh, the bolus, or chyme now, from the stomach into the duodenum. And then we have insulin, and its role is in the regulation of macromolecules, so a major role in metabolism. And then we have the alpha cells, which make up 25% of the cells within the islets of Langerhans, and it secretes the hormone glucagon. And glucagon has a role in the regulation also of macromolecules and therefore metabolism. Now, glucagon and insulin are not the same. Where one hormone promotes the uptake and reabsorption of macromolecules, the other promotes the breakdown of macromolecules. So now you can click on the links to glucagon or insulin to see its role in our body and how it controls metabolism. Please click on the links on the video on the screen. Thank you.